hi guys and welcome back to mia's channel in today's video i'm sharing with you these amazing and easy strawberry cream cheese heart puffs for valentine's day or just as a treat for any other day so if you're interested let's get started by adding into our mixing bowl one third of a cup of cream cheese with half a teaspoon of lemon zest and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract Then add 2 tablespoons of caster sugar and 1 egg yolk. And of course all the ingredients will be listed in the description box below. Give it all a good mix until all our ingredients are well combined. Once it's all mixed well, Add another third of a cup of cream cheese, which is the equivalent of 40 grams, so in total I used 80 grams of cream cheese. So as you can see now, we have a nice and smooth cream. So put it aside and take a separate bowl with one egg in it and one tablespoon of milk and whisk it all. Then unroll your puff pastry sheet and take two heart shaped cookie cutter. Then cut out your hearts, but if you don't have a heart shaped cookie cutter, you can use any other shapes you have. You just need to have two sizes, one should be slightly smaller than the other. Once you cut them out, place them into your baking tray. And if you're not sure if they're going to stick after baking, it's better to line it with some parchment paper. Then with the light pressure, mark another heart shape inside the cut heart using the smaller cookie cutter. Then spread the cream cheese mixture we prepared before in the inside heart. And if you are new to my channel, I post a lot of cooking and baking videos, so I would love you to subscribe for more content. And if you're already part of Mia's family, then thanks for your support and I hope you'll enjoy today's recipe. Then cut some strawberries into small pieces and add them over the cream cheese layer. Then take the egg wash mixture that we've prepared before and brush the edges. And last but not least, sprinkle them with some granulated sugar. them in a preheated oven at 180 degrees for about 15 minutes or until the edges are golden brown. Once they're baked let them cool down for about 5 minutes then place them into your serving plate. And now it's time to dust them with icing sugar also called powdered sugar. And here are your strawberry cream cheese heart puffs ready to serve and enjoy. So I hope you liked today's video and if you did don't forget to like it and subscribe for more and thanks for watching. See you in my next one. Bye bye. Hi guys and welcome back to Mia's channel. In today's video I'm going to share with you this yummy and delicious cheese onion and potato pasty from scratch. So if you're interested Let's get started by adding some olive oil to our cooking pan. Then add 3 medium sized diced potatoes. Mm -hmm. 
Then add salt and black pepper powder to taste. Then cover it with a lid and cook it for about 5 minutes until our potatoes are gone soft. At this stage, add one small chopped onion with one tablespoon of butter and cook it until our onions are gone soft. But if you like the strong flavour of onion, then only cook them for a couple of minutes. Once cooked, add one tablespoon of mustard Then add the amount of 2 tablespoons of worst sauce Half a teaspoon of chili flakes Then add 4 tablespoons of cooking cream I used light double cream And of course all the ingredients will be listed in the description box below Then add the amount of 200 grams of grated cheese And if you are new to my channel, I post a lot of cooking and baking videos so I would love you to subscribe for more content And if you are already part of Mia's family, then thank you for your support and I hope you will enjoy today's recipe And last but not least, add a handful of chopped parsley Give it all a good mix and then put it at a side Then unroll one sheet of ready rolled puff pastry and cut out six equal sections. Then bring our cooled filling we made before and fill three sections with the amount of three tablespoons in each. Then cover it with one of the sections that doesn't have any filling in it and put some pressure at the sides of it and then seal it with a fork. Place them on your baking tray and if you want to make sure that they're not going to stick it's better to line it and then with a knife make the pattern that you like on the top of them. Then beat one egg And give the pasties a final brush with an egg wash and then place them in the oven that is preheated at 180 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. And here are your cheese onion and potato pasties ready to enjoy. And I'm sure all your friends and family are going to love it because there is nothing better than a combination between cheese, onion and potatoes. So I hope you liked today's video and if you did, don't forget to like it and subscribe for more. And thanks for watching. See you in my next one. Bye bye. Hi guys and welcome back to Mia's channel. Today's video, I'm going to share with you my way of making these yummy and mouth-watering puff pastry cream filled cones. So if you are interested, let's get started by preheating the oven at 180 degrees. Then roll out one sheet of ready rolled puff pastry. Cut it into strips. Add 
and wrap the pastry strip around the cone starting from the top and stick the end of the strip firmly by putting some pressure on it with your fingers. And make sure to grease the metal cones before using them. And if it's the first time you come across my channel, my name is Mia and I post a lot of cooking and baking videos as well as vlogs. So I would love you to subscribe for more content. And if you're already part of Mia's family, then thanks for your support and I hope you'll enjoy today's recipe. Place your cones in your baking tray Then take one egg and whisk it, then egg wash the cones And of course all the ingredients will be listed in the description box below Then place them in your preheated oven at 180 degrees for 25 minutes or until golden brown. Then in a separate bowl, I used instant whipping cream, but you can still use fresh double cream if you want. With one teaspoon of vanilla extract and the required amount of milk. For me, it was 250 milliliters. But if you are using the fresh double cream, make sure to add one tablespoon of icing sugar. Then I repeated the same steps to make the strawberry flavour whipped cream. Once your cones are baked, remove them from the oven and set them aside to cool. Once they have cooled down, Remove the metal cone and fill the whipped cream into separate piping bags and pipe the vanilla whipped cream into each cone. And repeat with the strawberry whipped cream. Dust icing sugar along the length of the cones. And here are our puff pastry cream filled cones ready to serve and enjoy. You can refrigerate the cones and serve them cold with your favorite ice cream. So I hope you liked today's recipe and if you did, don't forget to like it and subscribe for more and thanks for watching. See you in my next one. Bye bye.
Hi guys and welcome back to Mia's channel. In today's video I'm sharing with you this amazing easy apple turnovers with puff pastry. So if you're interested let's get started by getting our three main ingredients ready which is one roll of store-bought puff pastry dough. This will make it so easy and quick to prepare. One pot of apple sauce and one egg. First of all start by unrolling the ready rolled puff pastry then half it with a knife then cut five sections out of one half of it. Then put the amount of one tablespoon of the apple sauce on each section. Then fold each section into a square, then seal the edges by pressing with a fork. This apple turnover has a slightly crispy outer layer with a juicy warm apple filling that creates the perfect spot for your tea to sink into. And this recipe takes about 30 minutes to put together, including baking time. So you are looking at about 10 minutes of hands-on work to create these amazing apple turnovers with puff pastry. Then in a separate bowl, whisk one egg then brush the puff pastry with the egg. And if you are new to my channel, I post a lot of cooking and baking videos, so I would love you to subscribe for more content. And if you're already part of Mia's family, then thanks for your support, and I hope you will enjoy today's recipe. And sprinkle with some granulated sugar. Then with the knife, put a hole on the top of each one. And pop it in a preheated oven at 180 degrees for about 20 minutes or until browned and puffed up. Now let's make the second shape which is the square pocket. Take the other half of the already rolled puff pastry and cut some triangles. Then fill each triangle with one tablespoon of the apple sauce. Then grab the end of the pastry triangle and join them together in the middle like I'm showing you on the video. Place them in your baking tray, then take some flakes almond and put them in the middle with some pressure so they seal the pastry. Then brush the puff pastry with the egg. And sprinkle with some granulated sugar and bake it in a preheated oven at 180 degrees for about 20 minutes or until browned and puffed up. And here's your delicious apple turnovers with puff pastry ready to enjoy. In two different shapes, this pastry is one you will create over and over, especially when you find out the secret to make it. So I hope you liked today's recipe and if you did, don't forget to like it and subscribe for more. And thanks for watching. See you in my next one. Bye bye.